Hey Concrete fans, so I have a few requests from all the viewers. One of them was a challenge, a concrete knife, and I have accepted the challenge. So let's get right into it. First of all, how, how did I make this? This is my this is my concrete knife mold. If just looking at it isn't self-explanatory, let me get into it a little bit for you. I imagined the knife in my head, in, inside my brain. I made that shape come to life. I cut my mold from this plastic. I used a ruler and an exacto knife. And I also used t -t tape, tuck tape, to seal all my edges and some little pinch clamps to to grab a few places and a long chunk of rebar to reinforce the core. You could do the same thing. In fact, I challenge you, make, make one of these, make a knife, make a concrete knife. Person out there, out in the uh, digital universe, you know who you are who challenged me. I hope I can live up to the challenge. I have an amount of gray matter. I don't know how much. I just, I looked at it and scooped some into my container and decided that this is enough. Now, gray matter naturally comes with hemp fiber. There's a chunk. As reinforcement. And for, uh, you know, a lot of things, that's going to be sufficient for you. But in this case, I wanted to give the form a little extra strength. So I added the uh, ready rod core. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. That's nice. Mm. You know, when the issue, challenge was first issued, I figured I can, I can do this. And then I really started to wonder what, what, would my, what would my knife look like. And so the first place I started with was length. What did I want my knife, what did I want the scale to be? And I decided on you know, something fairly large um, because it's easier to photograph. That's probably the main reason, um, but it's dramatic. You know, a large, large size, large things are, are very dramatic. So I, I want to create something dramatic. So we have this large, fairly large one. Look at this. Whew. That's like a, like a big meat cleaver. Big though. I'm nervous about this thing. I, I don't know if it's going to turn out. And I've also decided to incorporate a little bit of color into this. So, we've got a few colors that I want to use. This will be color. You know what? Time to come out. Time to come out of the mixing bin. Oh, that's better. Let's get rid of this. That's nice. That's perfect. Okay, so three colors. This is going to be our accent color. Yeah. Lump number one, accent. Oh, 
We got extra water here. That's not good. Maybe it's just two colors. Two colors. Huh, let me think about this. An accent. Yeah, you know what, let's go two colors. So I'm gonna join the accent back in color one because as always, we are gonna start with a white base for our concrete. So I'm gonna get some white pigment using this scoop. Oh, that white's nice. White for Roy. You know what? I'm I'm actually feeling for some reason just a little bit blue. Not too much. I just want to keep it cool. Super super cool. start with this. So I was issued a challenge to make a knife and I actually want to pass that challenge on to you. Make a knife. Make a concrete knife. Make a concrete knife. Uh, if you need help making a concrete knife, you can contact me and I will help you make the knife. But make a knife. And if someone, uh, you know, whoever makes the most amazing knife, I will give them a prize. You will, you will receive an award for your knife work. Oh yeah, that's getting real good. Hmm, I think we actually probably leave this like this. Just a little bit of swirl in that color. So let's pull our accent color. Push that to the side. That's our accent. And our accent color is decent amount of red pigment. FYI. And then we just fold it over. Let's see what we get. Oh. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be a rich. It's going to be a very rich color. It's good. I, uh, I like to measure my color, but I also think it's fun to just go freestyle. Mmm, that's nice. Look at that, that's like a rich, a rich rosy hue. Let's fold it in a little more, and I'm going to add I need a little bit more water, not much. And a tiny bit more. <sighs> Beer for me. Take that out, that's a big chunk of aggregate. There's the odd, it's a little too large for what we want. Oh, one more. Gotcha, I gotcha. That's, so that's probably an odd thing. I don't think you'll find too many concrete guys hand selecting aggregate out of their mix as they work. 
That would be probably rare. Drop this in. it out. Go a little more. Tap. real nice. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do the rest. Okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to massage the concrete into the form. Gentle tap, 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 tap a room. Trying to get some air out. And just get it, get it good. Get it looking good. You know? up here. Let's get it. Yeah, we're going to need one more clamp. See that? So concrete It's always going to try to be a little tricky. Look at that. It's just kind of bowing out the back of my form here. I don't care. I can work with that. Give it your best. But yeah, I'm gonna want a little something on there. I don't actually know if this should work. This may work. Okay. Weird. So I've got these two leftover little lumps of concrete here. I'm just gonna go like this. Make a knife out of concrete. Be the very best knife. Win a prize. How radical is that? Actually, you know what? Before making a knife out of concrete, let's see if this knife turns out. I think it may, but we don't know for sure. It's time to see how our knife turns out. I'm going to start by pulling off all the clamps, one by one, or two at a time. Things look pretty good. I'll use the X-Acto knife to trim our tape out. Let's see. Let's see our knife. Hmm. Hopefully, hopefully we didn't have any voids in this, but we will see. This is something new. Oh. Looks promising. Oh, here we go. This looks interesting.
Ooh. Here is here's our knife. So I'm gonna have to trim off this chunk of ready rod. But for the most part, this looks looks like a knife. I think a type of knife. Yeah, I could probably use a little bit of sandpaper and clean up some of my edges. I'm not gonna do that right now. I just wanna huh. What do you think? A knife? I could probably sharpen this edge, but you know what? I brought banana for scale. Let's see. Let's see if this knife is going to work. Good luck. Hmm. Perfect banana slices every tin. Concrete knife. So the challenge is up to you. See if you can do a better concrete knife or even just a great concrete knife. And we'll send you something cool if you do. If you're the best out of all the knives. We can't, we can't send something to everyone who makes a knife, but if you make the very best knife, and somehow show us a picture of it or upload a video of it, let us know. Hope you enjoyed the video. See y'all soon. Greg, 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 Greg.